Welcome to my channel. You're here with me, Danny, on Down South with Danny. I want to welcome you to a new series for my channel this year. The series that we're going to be starting is a Where Are They Now series for my makeup because as you guys know, I have a lot of it. There are some things that get lost and put behind and, you know, we move on to the new new all the time. But sometimes we need to go back and look at where we came from to see how our makeup has evolved. So, today, I pulled out a palette. I went all the way back to summer 2016 to pull out a palette that I loved. I traveled with everywhere. I took it with me for my best friend's wedding. I wore it every single other day. Like, I was wearing it to death, okay? Like, between that and the Too Faced Peach palette, I was like, yes, my life is made. Ooh. I loved it. Needless to say, I will say that the brand for this palette has showed his ass in 2018. I mean, the whole thing. Came out with this foundation that was not appropriate and not up to par, and people <laughs> canceled them. Ate them alive, was like, oh, you think you're gonna come through here without the right shades of foundation? <laughs> out the door. Everybody was on the council bus. Nobody wants to talk about that. They were throwing their products, trash them, doing everything else. But I'm not a person to trash my money like that because when you buy something, that's money spent. I don't waste my money. So I was like, I'm gonna use my products. Um, I didn't really buy a whole lot from them last year at all. I think I bought like, um, what did I buy? Park Avenue Princess, like in the pots of shadows, but I like got that basically for free with points or I needed to get enough tart things a $25 tart purchase to get a free full size blush so I was making a points order anyway so I just threw that in and got a free full size blush so those were the two tart products that I picked up throughout 2018 so I didn't cancel them because I still really love the products that I own but I also wasn't actively checking for them like that to see what they were putting out new I saw the releases that came out on trend move but I wasn't like whoo like I had always been in the past for Tarte because I really really liked the brand they were the first higher end brands that I really liked or like mid range brands that I really liked and I was like got good products it looks good on me let me give it a try and I like their blushes I like their powders I like their lip products I like their eyeshadows a lot because I collected almost everyone they put out up until they lost their mind with the, with the foundations however that's in the past and so since we're going to the past let's look at a series of palettes that they put out that I was in love with you got the original tartlet like a purpley kind of mauve color story more smoky um this is a really good one it's very everyday work friendly i really 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 love the shade dreamer which is this brown here like a brown it's like a deep purpley brown very deep purple brown very pretty it was probably my favorite color i love to just smoke that out everywhere along with best friend which is a mauve color now these were very hard packs and now they're pretty powdery but like i said i've had them for several years that color was really good oh, what's going on with this situation with the lighting yet again trying to play me But that's like a mauve berry color, like a mauve purpley color plum. I really, really like those. They were some of my favorite colors in the original tartlet, and I wore them all the time. These plums really taught me that I could wear cool tone shadows. And I think that this is what this tartlet palette taught me when I was using it all the time. I do want to bust the neck out. I not what I wore today. I wore the next one today, and I'm going to talk about it in a second. And I really, really, really liked this palette. And I think I still like it. I still like how easy it is to wear to work. I still think it's good quality. And are there shadow, shadows that I like better now? Brands that I like more? Yes. But I still think this is a good product, especially for a beginner in eyeshadow. Next up, you have my favorite of the trios. It is the Tartlet in Bloom. I wore this baby out, guys. I have dipped the letter on Tarte product. Like, almost all my letters are gone. With the exception of... The wording in this charmer, which is like a cream color, which I don't use. Um, I basically use every color in the palette. Charmer is like the only color I didn't use a whole lot. I did use it to like clean up mistakes, but not like use use. It's kind of crumbly over there, uh, charmer. 
but my favorites were clearly evidenced by the dips in them rebel leader firecracker funny girl those were my favorites along with sweetheart and smarty pants like this whole bottom quadrant right like look not quadrant because it's like six shadows like these seven shadows at the bottom like boop 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 go to then i learned that i could still use rocker like i could use like a to more taupey shade i was worried because this looked more neutral more it looked more warm at the time than anything i ever owned so but then i realized this is very kind of neutral with the exception of the bottom two which are rebel and leader everything else is kind of cool tone neutral and i could still use like this gorgeous rocker all of the lid and I really liked that and I really appreciated it and I started using it more but I literally took this everywhere with me all summer long 2016 2017 I was rocking it and then they showed out 2018 I had to put it down I was still using it privately but people didn't want to talk about it on the YouTube internet space the last one they put out in this series was a Charlotte toasted I got a confession to make though guys I've only used this probably a couple handful of times I thought it was going to be my favorite because the time it came out, oranges and warm tones and bronzes were in. So I really thought that this was going to be, you know, the one, the love of my collection. And I thought I was going to love it so, so much. I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't. I thought I was going to fall head over heels for this. And look how beautiful and orangey and warm tone and the golds in there. I did not I freaking didn't and I was very disappointed in that I don't think the formula was the same and this is was in the other two I don't think the shimmers performed as well they're beautiful to look at and beautiful to swatch but the formula just wasn't the formula I knew from the other two Charlotte palettes which is really what threw me off um it really threw me off a lot and I think that's why I didn't give it a chance. And it had this strange matte with gold glitter in it. Like I've said before, I will add my own glitter to the mattes. You don't have to do that for me. I can do it on my own. And I think that bothered me a lot. Um, and unfortunately, it got relegated to the back and I never picked it up again after about two weeks. So I really want to pull this and give it a fair shake this month. And just, I want to pull all three and just give them a good once over, do some looks with them, talk about them. And I may just go back through and just do like a where are they now looks. And I may post them on Instagram at Danielle all day. I'll try to post them on Wednesdays where are they now palette looks on Wednesdays and let you guys see how they look. So check for that on Instagram. I'll hashtag, I'll hashtag it where are they now Wednesdays. And that way you guys can find it and see my looks that I make with the palettes each one. I want to make this a series and just kind of go through, like not just this palette, but all my palettes. And just each Wednesday do a different look with a different palette. And that way I can see, hey, where are they now? How are they looking? How are they swatching? What colors am I drawn towards in each of these palettes that I've kind of relegated to the back burner? Excuse me. Things that are no longer in the forefront of our minds. Because we do have a lot of makeup. We do spend a lot of time buying it, purchasing it, using it. But then, where does it go after that? What purgatory does, do palettes live in? After we've gotten our use and made our looks, the next hot thing has come out. I don't want to make us be sitting in a purgatory. I want to use it this year. As I put up in my other video, a year of appreciation. I want to appreciate what I have, what I own. Get some new use out of it. Give a little Tarla Toast a chance. Um... Yeah, let's just try and give up. Let's see if we can see what the shimmers can do. Let's throw a little bit on. We want to go with the looking guy going. Let me try it out. Let me just give it a little bit. Hmm. This little flame is not so bad. Especially because I'm putting it on my finger. Now what are those? I don't know. Put a little simmer on top. Ooh, that is not too bad. See? That's what I mean by like sometimes you gotta give things a chance. Like that's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. That's just that I just threw it on there with my finger. 
Let's even the eyes out. Let's not have them looking crazy for the rest of the video. Just like that, like me checking out the shimmers just offhand during this day. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, a little tartlet. Toasted. Came through with a little eyelid look. So we shall see um, how they turn out and how what kind of use I can get. See, just that quick, I've used the shimmers in this and I was like, oh, I don't remember doing that great. They didn't perform like the other ones. But just that quick, tried them out on camera. You saw me finger pop them on my eyelids and they're looking like. I don't know why I'm thinking all crazy like that. But they're looking like pretty good with just fingers. So with the brush and some love, I might change my mind. So we shall see how they look. I will post a picture of the palette I used today, the Charlotte and Bloom, on Instagram. Check it out at Danielle All Day. I post it on Wednesday. You'll probably see the picture before you see this video, actually. So ah, stick around. Let me know what's something that you had and you love that you haven't used in a while that you want to pull out this year. Let me know because I'm interested to see what everybody else has like put in their palette purgatory that they haven't used in ages. Keep me posted. Bye.